your university is probably dutifully pumping out hard leftists and Marxists at a rapid pace. Read your alumni newsletter. Go back, go back and take some coursework. Just peruse the website. Yet we just, by default, because we like the sports teams or the nostalgia of drinking beer in college, <laughs> we pump checks to these institutions. And we might as well just send it straight to the Democrat Party. That, that, and so any part of perpetuating that, I believe, is part of perpetuating a cycle that's hurting our country. So when I say the best institutions, I'm what I'm talking about are David schools. I'm talking about classical Christian schools at the K through 12 level. Because my mentor at Princeton, his name is Robbie George. He's an amazing conservative constitutional professor. By the way, there's a renaissance at Princeton of conservatives. There are now 25 outed conservatives in the faculty at Princeton. <laughs> all, all because of one man who started an institution and, and has built it. It's phenomenal. But he has a quote in our book where he says, it used to be the liberal professors that licked their chops at indoctrinating these naive, you know, Bible-clinging kids that showed up at college. And now it's the exact opposite. It's the liberal, it's the conservative professors, the few among them, who lick their chops at, uh, at undoing the indoctrination of the kids who already show up woke and indoctrinated. See, the problem's not higher education. Higher education's already gone. Hmm. The problem is K through 12. That's the focus of our book. And they're consolidating that on K through 12. And when I talk about a great education, not an elite education, the kids David pumps out are elite. They're elite performers. They're elite students, they're elite critical thinkers, they're elite debaters, they're, they're, they're ready to go into the culture and engage and win. So by that definition of elite, they are elite. If, if, they're, if you mean elite by pays $50,000 so your kid can be woke, they're not elite. Uh, that's what a lot of the elite high schools or middle schools look like that are pipelines to the Ivy League. These are pipelines to wisdom. Timeless wisdom, the type of education that our founders received that gave them the ability to debate what they debated 250 years ago and create this form of government that is a republic if we can keep it. I didn't get that education and I got a standard, you know, every time I'd talk to David, the only thing I would, the first thing I would say to him is, why can't I go back to one of your schools? Because <laughs> I learned almost nothing.